hello guys welcome back to appshik tutorial so today we are going to see about the concatenation uh, column value expressions so basically the con concatenation works like you can join one or two more words into a single value so yeah let's see a practical demo so in the last video we have created this video so you can check this app in the last video so here let's go to the data this tables view source we'll give this the database of this app and then we can create a new sheet called concatenate so for this demo I'm going to name a first going to concatenate a first name and last name. Okay. And then so if we refresh the app, the following table concatenate will show up here. Oops, it's not showing so okay so let's add manually it's on Google Drive yeah it's showing there so, so if you see here add concatenate so add this table now if you go to the columns so the first name last name is came here and the computed name it's automatically generated the concatenate of first name and last name because app sheet will understand some of the basic uh, naming values the first name and last name it understood it as a name so it's automatically generated this expression called concatenate first name and last name okay so now let's see this expression Here I'm going to give my name, last name, and once I save, if you go here, so the see the here computer key, so Aditya MPN, and the computer name is Aditya MPN is concatenated the first name and last name using this formula. Okay, so this is one use case. Uh, we can use this concatenate in various ways. For example, we can generalize we can generate invoice ID so I am adding an invoice ID here so this is the general use case for any business so for invoice ID what we can do is so the row name sorry the row number we have 2 so we can concatenate with this row number 2 and today's date ok so let's try out this so I have added a new column called invoice ID for that I need to regenerate the structure then the column will regenerate here okay. so the invoice ID came here so I am going to use the same formula concatenate but with the different column values so we have row number and I am going to concatenate with this row number and today's date okay. so I am just copying this and pasting here so the first name what we can do is the columns so I have selected the column the, the sheet has this following columns so the row number I'm going to insert here and so row number comma as well as space I'm going to give dash then come on today's date so uh, we can get, using the date expression we can get the today's date so if you go here time so now we'll give date and time and so today we'll give today's date so i'm going to use this time expression okay so i'm setting this today 
now once I save this let's see how the inverse ID will show up here. I have to synchronize it. Concatenate. If you, since this is a formula, we can able to edit. We can't able to edit. It's not showing up here because the detail view we will need to add here. So if I add a new row, you see here three dash six fourteen twenty twenty one. It means like today's date is fourteen six twenty twenty one, and this is the row number three because this is the first row, this is the second row, and the third row, and I'm going to add a third row here. So name. Once I save here, you go and check it here. See the invoice ID, third row, and the particular date will come here. So, this is another use case, guys. So, for the concatenate, and yeah, so let's finish up this with this concatenate expression. And you can try out uh, some more solutions and comment below if you have any doubts. Yes. Thank you for watching. So in the next video, we will see another expression value or a function. So please subscribe and press the bell icon for the next update. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.